Mmm. Hey everyone, Anthony Fantano here, internet's busiest music nerd. Hope you're doing well. And uh, yeah, let's get into it. Let's get into the weeds on another topic over here. Kieran J. Callanan, musical eccentric, singer-songwriter, meme master, got kicked off of the Laneway Festival lineup recently. Although not too recently, I kind of waited to talk about this because honestly, I thought there was going to be more to develop out of this story because we're yet to receive a big comment from Kieran on this whole thing. I've reached out to him for comment as well, and his label said that they currently are not doing, uh, or he is not currently doing any interviews or anything of the sort. Um, Also, from what I've seen, the festival itself hasn't made a big, huge statement about Kieran's removal from the lineup or um, their reasoning for doing so or uh, it's it's so it's it's a little bit of a a tough thing to comment on with nobody actually saying anything about it outside of some artists on the roster uh, commenting on the removal just sort of saying oh yeah I guess I'm I'm not surprised or people who clearly had it out for him or didn't like him or didn't like some of the things that he uh, was doing recently during live performances or his uh, uh, flashing thing at the uh, Arias, who didn't care for that behavior, complaining about him. So what are my thoughts on this, given that I love the dude's last record, I like his eccentric personality, I like that he's in a lot of ways like a relentless troll, I like that uh, he's really kind of putting it on for uh, total weirdos out there. Um, wh- wh- what do I think uh, as a fan of his music? Uh, and, and I guess in a way a fan of the fact that he is um, kind of like a neo-provocateur in a lot of ways. Um, my, my thoughts are this. To me, provocation can be an art form. And uh, when, when an artist does it right or when an artist does it in an interesting way or when they're sort of pushing the buttons of, of, of people. Uh, I can find that to be pretty interesting, pretty entertaining. However, keep in mind that if you are going to take things in that direction, if you are going to be a provocateur, that's going to come at a price. There's a price for provocation because when you're provoking people, you know, it doesn't just become the situation where you do it and then all of a sudden their response to that is like, <laughs> okay, you got me. You know, part of the thing with provocation is you tick people off. You make people uncomfortable. You <laughs> you really kind of like rattle some cages. You make people mad. You make people unhappy. Um, it's not a artistic direction or um, a medium I recommend to everybody, you know. But the thing is, if you're going to take things in that, dir- in that direction, you've got to be ready to take the punches that are going to get thrown at you and the obstacles that are going to get thrown in your way, and the obstacles that, in a way, you throw in your own way, too, because artists who are the most provocative and are the most difficult pills to swallow, rarely do they end up being the biggest stars, the most well-decorated artists uh, on the planet. Rarely are they the most mainstream on the market. Uh, So if you are going to be a provocateur, of, of any shade, you've got to be ready to handle that. And in a lot of ways, I feel like Kieran is sort of responding to this relatively well by laying low. I don't know what the the reasoning for that is as far as what his future game plan is going to be. Is he going to lay low in order to get ready uh, for the next big, ridiculous, over-the-top thing that he's going to do? Or is he laying low because maybe he's thinking, okay, well, uh, I'm bit at a bit of a crossroads here. Do I want to keep pushing the envelope and making people uncomfortable and doing this sort of thing? Or am I going to kind of reel it back a little bit for the sake of my career in the music industry? You know, um, <clears throat> while it sucks ultimately at the end of the day that he's been removed from the festival and there are a lot of people who probably bought tickets to see him and they're going to feel like that's unfair and that's uh, that stinks. Uh, again, this is the price of provocation. When you're doing this sort of thing, you're going to piss people off. You're taking risks. You're going to, th- there's going to be opportunities at stake for the kind of behavior that Kieran is engaging in. And I feel like at the end of the day, the the thing to keep in mind is 
you know, this is, I guess, kind of one little, I guess, battle in what you could see in the ongoing war of art and expression. What truly matters at the end of the day is once all the dust has settled, did you actually make an interesting artistic statement? Did you make great records? Did you leave an impression? Did you entertain your audience? Ultimately, that's what's going to matter. You know, look at the band Crass, for example. They got banned from the fucking Roxy. The Roxy closed in less than a year, and Crass went on to be punk legends. I mean, you know, so it it just kind of is what it is. If you're going to be provocateurs, if you're going to be aggressive, if you're going to be difficult to deal with, if you're going to be totally over the top, and you're going to... Uh, be a performer that really kind of pushes the boundaries of sanity and acceptable behavior, then you're going to run into things like this. These things are going to happen to you. And um, whether Kieran decides to reel it in or whether he decides to push forward and continue just like, uh, uh, I guess, uh, burning more bridges potentially, uh, I guess I just hope that uh, the music still continues to be good. And... um, you know, I, I guess the one thing that I wish out of all of this or the, the one thing that I'm kind of desiring out of, all, out of all this is that the festival would have kind of made a bigger statement about all this because the festival hasn't come out and either said their reasoning behind it or taken a principled stance on this. Is it really truly because they feel like Kieran uh, makes the festival dangerous and an unsafe place to be because of his actions? Do they truly feel like he's uh, going to hurt the reputation of the festival or something. I mean, because they're silent, I'm going to go out on a limb here and just say that it probably has a lot to do with the bottom line and them wanting to basically avoid controversy. Um, You know, although maybe the first way I would have handled that personally is basically corner the dude, say, look, we can't afford to be having you pull any bullshit this year. Like, either... You fly right, here's a contract, here's an agreement. Either you fly right, you give us the performance that we have paid for because we're paying you for a service, or you don't get paid at all. You know, and maybe even that would be too much of a risk for, you know, them. They would think that, well, maybe he would totally forego that payment. Um, you know, or maybe he would even agree to a penalty. You know, maybe that's how I would try to conduct the whole thing. But, you know, that's just me kind of Uh, throwing scenarios out there. Maybe they really felt at the end of the day they couldn't expect him to uh, give him or give them rather the performance they wanted without incident. So I think they probably just went with, "Eh, let's uh, try to play it safe here and, uh, uh, you know, just try to keep money in our pockets and keep the festival afloat. Because, you know, at at the end of the day, uh, that's all most people are trying to do, you know. So I don't entirely uh, uh, blame the festival here for... uh, that decision. I don't think that's a terrible decision necessarily. I just wish that if that was the decision, if that was their reasoning or whatever their reasoning was, that they just kind of came out, made a stronger statement on it and just kind of really stood on it, you know? Uh, So that's it guys. That's my thoughts on that. You know, at the end of the day, I feel like this is the price of provocation. If you're going to do that, which again, I feel like it's totally legitimate artistic expression to to provoke the audience but that's not always going to have that's not always going to have positive results it's not always going to have positive results uh, because it just kind of comes with the territory so those are my thoughts what do you think about all this throw it down there in the comment section if you want i'll see you guys in the next one over here next to my head is another video that you can check out click on that or the link to subscribe to the channel you're the best fantano forever bye bye